they have not heard any of that. Gotcha. So now they're hearing things. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Emmanuel. Uh, now for them. Thank you guys for joining a turkey's chat. Uh, always something. Everything's broken. I fixed much of it. Blah, blah, blah. You missed the first one. My bad. But yeah. So I'm here with Emmanuel. Uh, yeah, the number true. he said was we were talking about, how, I was saying how he's blowing up on TikTok. He's made it up to 147,000 followers and he is well on the road to make it to 200,000. And I'm very thankful that he's chosen to sit down and talk with me today. Thanks. Yeah, no, no, it's, uh, it's uh, 139, but it's not like there, but it's, it's, it's almost there. It's almost there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just I'm just grateful that I I'm just grateful that I even have like a thousand or ten thousand. Yeah, no, dude, being around in the threshold is fun. When I when I first made it up to five thousand or when I first made it to one thousand, I thought I was super super hot. Now I'm at five thousand, and I'm like, oh, this is so exciting. But I definitely feel the need. Like I want I want more. Once you get up here, you always on want more. On TikTok, right? Yeah. yeah. Facts, facts, facts. So yeah. yeah, TikTok is very interesting. Like it's just really weird. Like how. Uh, like right now, um, a lot of my, for some reason, my 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 lives got banned. Mm -hmm. Now I do I don't do really co like I do like basic research and logical kind of content. So like it's kind of weird to me that uh, they banned me from doing live, but I think it's just somebody who just wasn't tolerant or something and just kept reporting. Mm -hmm. So I just gotta do I, what I, I what I was told to do is like spam TikTok mm -hmm. a bunch of times and then just like tell them okay someone is like reporting me unnecessarily and they should be able to like ref ref like clear it off my record or something yeah because it's I like dude really, i was tired yeah i wouldn't expect them to clear was, it off your record they're they're not like that true but at least like let me like not give me whatever because it's like i literally was talking about um the subject of and these, I'm like, wait, how did that get me banned? The subject of what? You skipped. Like, Dwayne, the John, Dwayne the John Johnson. I mean, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were saying how you were just talking about The Rock, and then that's the, that's the moment it cut off. Yeah, I was like, what? what is, how is that banned? Yeah, no. But I, you know how it is. Yeah, I got mine uh, perma banned off of a single offense. I think it was because I was play, like streaming my video games. Yeah. Like I was showing them like what I was playing while I was there. And then they just said, so, yeah, no, like, you're TikTok absolutely live? Hmm? You're on, on TikTok Live? Yeah. Wait, they get, you said permabanned? Yeah, no, they're like, we're, you're not streaming live anymore. And I tried to email them, be like, what's this about? And they're just like, mm, we're busy. Like, I never got a response back or anything. And so I was just like, okay, well. Oh, yeah, I heard sucks. they have some trash. They have, like, trash customer service or whatever. Oh, bro, their customer service is absolutely trash. Like, I tried to start a wait, second account, but, wait, like... Wait, so, they just... Yeah, all my following was based off one video that blew up, and it's hard to make the same video blow up a second time on a new account. It just doesn't happen like that. Nice. So, it's, uh... You, so, wait, they kicked you off of doing lives because of, uh... Like, playing video games? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was up because, like, I was seriously just sitting there with my chat, like, answering questions. Someone was like, hey, turn it to play the watch the video games. And I think it might have been a troll because it was, like, minutes after that that I was banned. Like, I just looked down and I was like, how long has this been off? Like, yeah, it was weird. Facts. Yeah, man, there's a lot of those on there. Crazy. Yeah. But, yeah. It's honestly what it is. Uh, at least you're at least you're only off, off for a week, though. That's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, but it's still really sad, cause like um, there's like like there's a lot of people who uh, like like usually come on my lives and like it's like almost like a like in the morning like when I do lives in the mornings like I think it's usually like seventy or something to a hundred. Mm -hmm. and, and at night mm -hmm. it's usually like the same people coming over like actually at night uh, technically each live i do technically mm -hmm. touch it like mm -hmm. at least one thousand something people watch it but it's like you know like the people come back and forth back and forth so it says 50 or 12, 32 whatever mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of weird how it works mm -hmm. but yeah you know what i mean well yeah yeah i mean it's pretty chill i love uh i love it but sometimes i wish like it wasn't so easy to like like hurt someone off of you know mm -hmm. 
Like now I understand why like Addison Ray and all these guys don't really do block. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because also unless you're like screen recording your live yourself or you're doing something like me where you're recording, it's kind of hard to be like, "What do you mean? I didn't say that," and they can show you exactly what like, what happened through the whole stuff. It's just kind of like, "Nope, we recorded it. No, oh, well, so sad for you." Thanks. Yeah. Well, I just got a. Uh, I have a friend of mine. I got some friends of mine that like are really popular on TikTok. Also. Like, some of them have like a million followers. So, I so. They told me that like they're gonna teach me how to like report with that stuff, because mm -hmm. I'm like I, I I I'm not the type of person to allow that kind of stuff to, like especially unnecessarily, you know. Yeah. Like if I did something, if I did something, I'll admit to it. But when I'm innocent, mm -hmm. I don't just take it lying down. Yeah, because it's also like you if know? you need me to change something, like like don't get me twisted. Like just tell me what it is. If I don't agree with it, but it's still like your platform, like I might change it, but. Don't just be like, just put me out in the fucking cold and be like, oh, well, you know what you did. And you just be sitting there like, well, I think I know what I did. But it's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, what, what does, what's the topic again? Like the uh, well, I wanted, a whole bunch of places I wanted to go to. But you had brought up that there are a whole bunch of police no, that are saying. Well, it's, it's, your, it's your stream, so whatever you want to do. I no, I, please. You are my guest. Um, we, there were a bunch of police that were saying that they weren't, they didn't want to, I guess it would be for the, 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 the police to work at the DNC thing to protect it. Yeah, they, they, yeah, it's like a hundred, uh, police, what was it? Basically, they're, they signed off on not, I can actually look it up on my laptop. Oh, yeah, for sure. I got my Googler here as well. Sorry, guys. To, to do the Google, we do have to do the hard switcheroo to here. So, oh, that's not Google. That's Twitch. Ha ha ha. Okay. So then, oh, yeah. we're going to switch over to... It's like a hundred... Uh, like, I want to make sure I get the wording right because no I don't want to say the wrong thing or whatever. But it's a hundred uh police. It's either police uh people or let me see. Let me double check. Oh yeah, I I have one here that says police chiefs refuse to demand defend Democratic convention after pepper spray ban. Yeah, yeah, police groups refuse yeah to protect Democratic National convention, and you know a lot of the stuff going on with the people trying to defund the police. Liberals and Democrats are making it increasingly hard to please do their job, mm -hmm. and you know, like liberal cities are like suffering because of all of the results, and you know, a lot of police are quitting, retiring really early. They don't like the fact that they're being demonized for like literally just doing their jobs, and then like people, people will complain about the high crime rates happening right after they defund the police and all that. Mm -hmm. The high crime rates right after defund the police. Yeah, yeah, like right after they defund the police, or they, like in New York, the like the crime rate went up like thirty percent right after they took a billion dollars of the, the police departments. Uh, and plus, and then they also have the no bail thing in New York too. So like, someone just commits a crime, there's no bail for them, just walking free. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons, and you know, conservative. I mean, not a lot of uh, police officers are just getting sick of having their lives being put at risk. And now the DNC is like, well, you, you you have to come to our national convention, but you can't get any pepper spray. So what? What you want them to just get their butt beat, like their asses beat or something? You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, we can, like, yeah, we can go through this one at a time if you'd like. Yeah, whichever one. For sure. Whichever way, whichever way you want to do it. So I've only skimmed some of this article. Mm hmm. And. From most of what I can tell, mm -hmm. that it is just mostly talking about how they wouldn't be able to necessarily do their job without them having the safety of pepper spray. Yeah. But I don't know if that's necessarily... Like, would they be unsafe with it out using the pepper spray at the convention? Definitely would be unsafe. Because, like, dude, like, the way that the news does their thing... When riots go around, dude, the CNN literally showed a story of right. a police officer taking a baton and beating a kid up. 
they said, oh, police brutality at its worst. If you watch the full clip, you would see the kid ran up to her and just ran up to the police officer and just started beating them up. Mm-hmm. They, don't want, they didn't show that part. And then this stuff is very much like now they're trying so hard to de- they demonize the police that that's how the police are. Uh, and by the way, I'm not just using the DNC thing as a way to like say, oh, look at the police. Legit, if you look at it, mm-hmm. the National Police, um, the National Police Organization has left Biden and is fully endorsing Trump. And you can look that up right the now National if you want. Police Organization? Yeah, yeah, National Police Group. I, I don't know the exact name, but National Police uh, endorsed Trump. Let's look up something like that. For sure. But yeah, no, I think that's one of the one of the big problems right there is when we're talking about demonizing the police yeah, and all that. And people usually bring up instances where we get mad at the police for using force against an individual, especially when that individual was the one initiating the harm. And I think yeah. that that's I think that that's a really big topic, and I know a lot of people won't agree on it. My personal take is is that no matter what has happened up until a certain point, like a police officer, the police officer does have a certain amount of responsibility with his role. Like I I do believe that even if someone is like fighting you, like like they're swinging like boards and fucking weapons at you, and you manage to take them down and you subdue them. Mm-hmm. At that moment that you subdue them, anything else you do to this person is a crime. Just because this person yeah. is subdued. And that's kind of how I take it. And then people like to say, well, this person, like, they were wielding a knife or, like, they were in their face screaming. And I do, I get it. I do get the visceral of it. Like, throwing tear canisters back. I get how it, how it is viscerally. But once you mm-hmm. accept that specific job, because that's the fucking one of the hardest jobs in America. And once you accept that job, mm-hmm. there's just this standard is is your standard now, you know? I mean, honestly, I they feel way more for police officers. At a certain point, you know, like, even with, um, even with the, you know, like, what happened in Atlanta with the, that one guy? Oh, by the way, it's the National Association of Police Organizations National endorses Trump. Yeah. And it's, like, 216,000 cops or whatever. Yeah. You know, at a yeah. certain point, they get, at a certain point, you know, they get sick of all the nonsense, like being demonized for like literally just doing their job, like and then you know, liberals and democratic leaders, they don't. Well, well, again, the, really the problem we're getting to is that we're conflating them just doing their job with them do using force past that moment of submission. Is usually what we're talking about. Them I'm also not... reaching that moment with too much force, like using guns on people who don't have guns, even drawing them. You know. So people, I mean, people would argue but, that that's actually outside the purview of a police officer's real job. Is it, though, because that's what they're taught to do? Well, it is, because regardless of whether or not they're taught to do it, their job as up, like upholding the peace and the freedom is that they have to do that. They do have to uphold the peace. They can't take actions that takes away from the peace, that takes away from the peace that is absolutely justified. Tra- Unless they feel threatened. I think that even if they feel threatened, they should use restraint. Because at the end of the day, like, the thin blue line would does you, protect you... us from the criminals. But they're, yeah, sorry. They do protect us from the criminals. But ultimately, it's a police job to be willing to put their life on the line to save every citizen. So I do think at the certain point, they have to leave fear a little bit off to the side. You can never walk away from fear. We're human. You know, we're all human. But they have to have the ability to work through it and with it. Would you? I mean, I get the idea of you. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's what I like. I like to call this a magical concept. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, it's kind of like a kind of like a idealistic. Thing. Like you're you're looking at it as if you, these guys are perfect, which they're not. They're human, right? You just said mm-hmm. it. You can't really, you can't really fight that power of fear. Yeah, like no, and it's quite perfect. literally. They, like and the, you know you're getting paid fifty, like sometimes thirty k. Mm-hmm. Would you really risk your life just to make sure you, just to make sure that you like you double check that someone isn't threatening you? Well, no, someone, that's also why I wouldn't be a someone. police officer. Because like yeah, police no, officers saying, saying, should always double check, you know, before they take a life. 
Every time. Yeah. Every time. That's you can't really double check when you see someone do a really quick jolt. There's not really that much of time to double check. No, like, I like do understand someone... that there are certain situations where, like, you see a gum come out, like, a gun is brandished and all that, and it's, it's an obvious gun, but there are way too many situations of them reacting to situations where it's not a gun, where it's, like, literally a phone, or it's, like, actually nothing. And because there are so I mean, many situations of this, we should train them to do their job in a way where they don't pull a gun and shoot as quickly. Yeah, but here, once again, you're, you're, uh... You're thinking of an ideal situation, like that. These cops, like when they're when they see something that looks like a gun or seems like a gun, that you're you're thinking of a situation where they're like able to sit there and really just be like, "That's not a gun." When it looks like a gun to them, and a, and a, and a, to, in a situation like where they like things are intensifying. No, like really I, think I, I get this a situation that's intensifying, and I do also understand that what I'm proposing will put cops in more danger than they are today. I, I do understand that, that more cop lives would likely be lost under the results of what I'm proposing. And the reason that I am proposing it is because ultimately, cops exist to protect the lives of civilians. And that's what, that's what makes them heroes. That's why they're heroic, because they're willing to go out there every day and be like, hey, I'm willing to put my life, I'm going to go to where the criminals are, I'm going to go to where the shooting is, I'm going to lock that shit down, I'm going to keep you guys safe. It's, it's heroic. And they willingly put themselves in that danger. And I feel like just saying that something's dangerous shouldn't say that that's a reason a cop shouldn't do it. It's not fantastical. Yeah, I get that life is hard, but that job is a hard job. And, you know, it's, it's yeah, going to be hard. But that's, a, that's the thing, though. You're, 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 you're saying they should be real. And they do put their lives on the line just by doing their job themselves. Mm-hmm. Just by actually walking in and doing their job themselves is already putting themselves But... You can, I mean, there's no situation where you can tell, you can say that it's mm-hmm. rational to tell a cop to take extra time before they do whatever. Because all it's going to cause oh, is either right. the cop is going to... I'm sorry to cut you off, but it's not rational to ask someone to be a cop. It's not ask, rational to ask someone to be a firefighter. Those aren't rational things to ask of our fellow people, because you're asking them to run into the danger, into the fire, and to get themselves hurt. It's not a rational thing to ask. But once we do ask that of them, we have to understand that with this power, with this gun... You we gotta put like with this genie in a bottle. There's gotta be some like wrist restraints. There are certain things you ha- can't do, and certain things you have to do. You know. I mean, I would I would definitely argue that the police uh, police department gets a lot of training. So let's train them more. Like we're gonna train them more on. Like there's not much you can train police officers more on. They already go to enough training. They already have enough PR. Which you're, people come up with the concept of let's train the police more. You're not training them on anything they don't already know. They already well, what apparently to do. we, the, we yeah. are training some some things that they don't know. Because I actually have a couple of friends who've done volunteer work as social workers up. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit doxing, but up in Sonoma County, which is kind of near where I work. And uh, mm-hmm. actually, no, I think this happened in Orlando because they've been out in Orlando doing protests for the last few months. So anyways, there was a cop who yeah. came up to a homeless man because he got called because there was a homeless man like right in front of a, a nice little local grocery store. And so the cops got called because he was there being homeless and he was clearly like mentally deficient. And after like an hour, I think it was like, yeah, it was like an hour of them talking with the cops and the cops were asking them. Two of my friends just came forward and in like 10 minutes they were able to discern what the dude actually needed and how to get him to where they needed to be and the cops thanked them and they were like hey dude like thank you for coming in and defuse the situation but like the problem is is that full grown men aren't receiving the training that like 20 year old boys are are doing and it's it's that training that they're missing they don't necessarily know how to de-escalate a situation as well as they should what what exactly was the situation that was exactly oh it was just it was just like a was... It was just like a homeless man who was sitting outside of a, a local restaurant or local grocery store. Yeah. Okay. And what was going on again? Uh, the police were there talking with him for like an hour and nothing was happening. And then my friends came up. They talked with him for about 10 minutes, figured out what he needed and where he needed to go and helped the cops to get him there. Okay, I mean, you my can't friends, really say no, that. but like my friends with no train, with no official police training, were able to do what the cop was incapable of doing. Two cops were incapable of doing inside of an hour, and then think about all of the actual crimes that are happening in Orlando, 
that we do need genuine cops at. And they're sitting here because they don't know how to proactively move this homeless man away from the store without breaking a law and using too much force. That's kind of the issue. They need to be trained. They either need to be trained on how to do that or we need to use some certain funding to send specific people to go do that. See, but what you're saying is the police officers weren't using any real force on him. Just mm-hmm. took him a lot of time to get to this homeless man. Yeah. There could be a lot of factors to that, like that, like them being the police officers. There could be a lot of factors to that, like the homeless man just being intimidated, cooperating very well, but when he saw civilians, it was easier for him to cooperate. I That's mean, possibly. like, if we put on a suit, yeah. there's people that, Yeah, so, I mean, you can't really say it's because the police officers lack of training. I mean, it probably wasn't the same thing. Like, the police officers were probably doing just as much as your friends. It's just your friends were less intimidating and where it would I mean, I that's, mean, definitely, lot, like, that's people, definitely one factor. People, 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 people get really uh, scared with authority. Like, I know, like, when I see, like, uh, I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm an independent IT guy. I come to, mm-hmm. but if sometimes I'll see, like, even the people that I don't really, they're not part of my company, I'll see them and they're like, oh, that's the head boss. I'll get intimidated. Like, I'll start, like, mixing up words. I'll, like, take longer to th- say things that I, I usually say right away. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of factors to that. And then, regardless, in whatever situation, how much training you give the police officer, when you put on that suit, people are going to act different. A homeless man is going to look at the police officer, and he's probably going to act the same way even if he has all the training in the world. He's going to be like, I-, I don't know, officer, I don't know, I don't know. You know what I mean? There's a lot of factors to that. You can't I know, I know there are a lot of factors to that, though. but that's why I only use the anecdote so I can give you the sense of the story that I'm talking about. But usually what I rely on is that like actual data. And the fact is that a lot of cops don't really have a good job at de-escalating situ- situations. And there are a lot of situations where individuals, and it's actually even advised. We find this that we, when we're t- talking to people, we train individuals to stay calm when police are there and de-escalate a situation more than we emphasize that it's important for the police. And I think that's kind of interesting that like when we're talking about when black people get in trouble and or even like anybody really and we say that like oh they got shot but like they were acting like this way or that way and they mm. weren't being calm and like they were yelling and they were getting in the cops face and they were being rude and we put the onus on the responsibility of the situation to be on the individual to trust the person to be calm to be willing to cooperate instead of looking down the person who is asking for the cooperation and having them change the way we're doing it because once we start asking people to just be completely compliant and to just be calm and to just relax whenever they show up and not do the major steps it takes to reform their actions that cause us to feel untrustworthy was why people say that like when you're saying just pro police like blue lives matter people are saying that that's more of a fascist thing because the impl- the implication is that it's the citizens who need to be more subservient and obedient and we're not looking at the people with the power to use their power in a more appropriate way that doesn't restrict our freedom I mean I, I get I get what you're saying once again it's pretty idealistic but I mean, it's not really idealistic. The, the cops are... are the ones who are being paid. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't cut you off. That's hella rude of me. Yeah, no, I bet. No. That's, that's hella rude of no, me. I'm I sorry. I got you. I got you. No, but the cops are the ones with the power. And then they, they're the ones in authority to, you know, do. Now, yeah, I 100% agree. People should be more the ones to. No, but for me, like for me anyways, I, I, I think it's way more important for people to be subservient and make sure that they follow the rules to make sure that the mm-hmm. police doesn't like escalate the situation. Like like I know a lot of black people from my community and I help out in my community a lot. And I know this for a fact. So many situations where someone could have just cooperated and then, you know, you're acting all rude to the police, all this and that. Like people can get themselves shot when they're just acting all irrational. Like mm-hmm. just calm down, get your paper from the thing, put your hands on the dash, just follow that. Yeah, and if you and, can't follow, see, but if, what if you're you saying right follow, now is what it. makes people believe that that is a more fascist ideal. Because if the cop is in fact breaking the law, like there have been people who've made the comment, and I don't agree oh, with this I at all, it. but there have been people who've made the comment that you are allowed to legally defend yourself from the police. Personally, I think that notion, giving people the right to fight back to the cops within the law, is kind of dangerous because it does lead to a more dangerous society. I get that 
cooperation is definitely the key to making it through a lot of these situations. But the fact that we focus on that, instead of expecting a cop to be able to arrest and book and do all that with someone who's super wily and screaming all the time is kind of ridiculous. Because there's also, when you look at other professions that deal with similar type of uh, situations, like um, there are nurses in hospitals who have to deal with the basically the crazy and uncontrollable patients who are usually like on some sort of drug that brought them so close to death that now they're in a hospital. Like, fucking... Kind of a different situation, though. What? Kind of a hugely different situation, but... It is a different situation, absolutely. But, like, what I'm alluring to is that like, usually kinda... these nurses yeah. have a better ability at controlling these patients than... Like, controlling and calming down these patients than cops have at all of controlling with yeah, someone but... who has no mental disabilities at all. It's just mad that the cops are there. I mean, like, yeah, like, PA, like, the problem isn't the cops. I mean, the, you're teaching, of course, when you teach society to hate the cops and to fight back against them and to think that the cops should love them and call them pigs and this and that, of course you're going to get more people who are acting irrationally towards the police. Like, at the end of the day, you can't really fix the whole notion of the police being, like, all, uh, be like, because what? Like, how you, how... How are you going to de-escalate the situation? Because the situation is already going to be there before the police. Well, sometimes right? it's actually not you true. Pull, there are, there well, are plenty of instances where the cops well, show up and no, make, the, make the situation, and they escalate no, no, it out of nowhere. No, no, there no, are no, the, no. plenty of those. No, no, but I'm saying the situation is already going to be there, right? No, uh, that's what Most I, that's exactly time. what like, I'm saying. Not, is not, that not, not, a decent not, not, portion not, is not, not going to be there. Time. But a, 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 like probably a, a soft majority, yeah. The drastic majority, like I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna say, like I don't know, but like let's just. Well, let's I just have to disagree with you on drastic majority, just considering how many drug arrests there are, where the drug arrest they make is just a, someone who's using it for personal use, and that is a situation that I actually don't think is a criminal situation. As much as we disagree with people who use drugs, you should be able to use as many drugs as you want. That's your life. That's your body. I don't really. It's you, but. At the end of the day, if there's a non-violent drug user and the cops show up and make a situation, not only do they make a situation where there actually is none, but once a person gets even like uh sub- like seriously incarcerated, then they start- actually start to see them commit more c- crimes, continue in our re- we have like the highest rate of recidivism out of most countries, most developed anyways, and sure. that's like once you arrest someone who's non-violent like that. Not only have you made this situation, but you've also made by a not because ultimately it's the person's choice and what they're going to decide. But you can't ignore the fact that you have set this person down an instance where they're going to have so many more instances where the cops run in with them. And then we have to pay those cops while they're there dealing with these instances that didn't have to show up and was a product of their own actions. So there are there are some a lot of instances where they show up and there is already uh, a conflict, but I would not call it a gross majority by any means. But you kind of have to see, like pullovers, you could argue are the police thing, right? But pullover is something that they have to do for the state. That's their job. So you pull, like, okay, so like the dog, the drug thing you're talking about mm-hmm. is okay. Someone's on drugs. Mm-hmm. They are on drugs enough that they get suspicion, right? Like, uh, whatever happens. And if, if the cops arrest them for having drugs that are not legal, mm-hmm. that's whose fault is that? No, I understand whose that. That's how, that I understand that that's how the law works, but that's still an instance of them causing an issue where there is none. But I do understand that it may be illegal for them to have those like, drugs. But, 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 you, but you understand they're not causing an issue; they're just arresting for someone for doing something illegal. Right. No, like I get that it's illegal, but by them taking that action, it is causing an issue. Like, you know, it's also illegal to drink on the streets, yeah, but... but the cops understood that they had more important work to do when that first became a law. And that's why brown bagging became a thing when you could drink out of a brown paper bag on a corner, because the cops understand that there are certain things that will be passed as laws. But in order for them to keep doing the good cop work, that there are certain things that they have to do. That's why brown bagging is a thing. It's because yeah, of that notion no, right there. That. But it's still it's, it's still. It's still not the police escalate anything if they do their job and they... No, it, it is. It's incident. actually... This is actually almost on par with, like, the Nuremberg defense, where it's like, I didn't do anything bad because I was following the rule. Like, I was listening... I was doing what I was told to do. I was just following orders. And that actually, I think, is one of the lowest excuses we could possibly have for moral action. I get that legally it's happening, and I understand 100%. 
why it's, it's there. Literally what but to justify for. it with saying that it's legal is the same reasoning that Nazis use to defend themselves, and therefore I think that whole that whole section of reasoning but, is bad, and we can't use it. Like it's it doesn't get you to the truth. You're comparing them. No, I'm comparing the structure of the argument right now. There's a structure of the argument. No, no, that no they but use. I, get what, I get what you're saying, but you're you're, yeah. you're comparing it to Nazism when they're quite literally just doing the job that they're supposed to do. No, no, to I'm comparing the just the statement you made to Nazism, just the statement that it they did arrest yeah, them for but, something but, but, illegal. But, 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 but. Just the statement that they did arrest them for something illegal because it was against the law. I think saying I just did something because it's my job is a very bad defense, and the reason for is Nazism. That, that's how's, all I said. How is it a bad defense if it is their job? Well, because we as moral thinking humans should have the ability to understand when we're asked to do something right and wrong. Yes, but it's, it's right to do their jobs, right? Not if your job if is to gas what, people. What, Not if what, your job is to arrest people who aren't causing crime. Then your job is bad. Yeah, but but your job is to arrest these guys if they have these drugs in them. Right, and there, I said if a... if your job is gassing people or if your job is arresting people who aren't causing real crime, then your job is bad. But like if it's like, like what if it's my job to slap babies? Like that's what I get paid for. You know, it's my job. I have to do that. I mean, that's, that's what a, I'm getting paid big, for. You know, there's a big. Dip. There's a big difference, though. This is actually, like, law authorities that they're doing the job to, like, keep drugs away from... Because you do realize drugs do cause damage. Like, drugs do cause a huge amount of violence across the world, right? Well, we do that, notice like, that actually the the law on... The war on drugs actually causes a majority of the damage. Because once you, you take... Know, no, no, because hear me out on this. Once you take drugs out of the legal market, yeah. where it can be taxed, regulated, tracked by the government and all that then that's when power goes to the gangs. In that moment, in the second you say there's no longer a legal marketplace for it, but people still want to take them. Like that, like saying that we have to fight against drugs is very fairy tale land. Because at no point in my life have I ever been aware of a shortage of drugs in America. It's just, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. Americans love their drugs. And to say that they're only illegal just says that only gangs and people in other countries trying to move it over the border can in any way profit over it. And I think that that's terrible to give that much power to criminals. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like the, like the whole, like, um, the, the whole thing that when they banned like alcohol and like gangsters and all that, mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. You mean Al Capone, one of the most famous gangsters in American history. Yeah. Him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I'm yeah, talking about. But yeah. like, but like, I, get, I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, like you you cannot deny that like like it, it, even even when you say that alcoholism still is like the biggest killer what is one of the biggest killers of people i mean i thought Legal, the biggest killer was well, car crashes but i might be mistaken yeah like, but, but like alcoholism was linked to car crashes a lot of stuff like mm-hmm. uh it's like one of the biggest ki- legal or illegal Right. There's a reason why. Well, that's why there's so many regulations. Right, but it? like that's why I love America because that's the freedom to choose your body and what you choose to ingest. I get that there are yeah, effects, yeah, but, and like... so we've made it illegal to choose to ingest that and then use a car because, like, we acknowledge that those don't mix together, but we still haven't made it illegal to ingest. I would like to ask you a very straightforward question: Do you think mm-hmm. that we should, in some way, more prohibit alcohol further than we already do today? No, um, no, this is pretty de- decent. Like, you know, you have to be twenty-one. Well, then I would just say in a response to your question on being aware that it's a danger, that it kills a lot of people, I am fully aware, but limiting that would just be limiting Americans' freedoms too much for me. Limiting, like, what? Alcohol? Limiting, yeah, limiting alcohol further than it's already restricted. Like, I do appreciate that there's an age limit and all that, but I think that the current restrictions we have are good. Yeah, that's what I said. They're good right now. Yeah. And that's, yeah, I think that we could have restrictions like that for heroin. We could have them for meth. Like, it's one of the few things that's actually marked with real um, medicinal properties and is actually allowed to, like, meth is, be- I think it's below. Yeah, it's below pot because pot's only on par with heroin right now as far as the drug regulation is. Yeah, and I feel like, like there it... is there is actual real medicinal help to all of these if you look into them. And even if just allowing yeah. people to buy them from the same person regularly above surface allows people to develop communities around it that can keep people safe yeah but here's the thing though like there's a reason why they make drugs certain things illegal well, drugs yes. alcohol 
and they, there's a reason that they restrict all this stuff. There is a reason. Yes, really, yes, we can make arguments all day long about the middle school and all the good stuff it does, but there's a reason why that they do hold it. Uh, regardless of all the all the blah 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 money politics in the background. Mm-hmm. What did the, like, what did you believe? The there's reason a reason. Is? That, I mean, weed, weed, uh, the alcohol. I mean, like does a lot of stuff for people. That's that's totally fair. But at the end of the day, like, there's a reason why they want to keep it out of certain people's hands. Mm-hmm. Because, like, when, when you make it regular for people to smoke weeds, it gets into the hands of children more often. It gets into all this stuff more often. And, I mean, usually it doesn't end well. Because when people, when it's regular for someone to do it, uh, weed at 18, usually usually means that now it's regular for someone to do it. I mean, that's a really you know, interesting when you make it legal argument, to, but that isn't why it was initially legalized. No, no, but here's, here's, here's what I'm getting to, right? So let's say they do, they make legal, we legal all across the U.S., right? Mm-hmm. 18, like people, like, like just like alcohol. Alcohol is legal at like 18 or 21, actually. 21. Or, but, but when people do it, um, they do it at 18, they do it at 15. And the thing about it is, like certain drugs, like alcohol, pretty bad, yes. But part of the reason why they, they don't try to legalize things like marijuana it's because a long when people do it for a long term at a young age where their brain causes a lot of brain damage. I mean, that's actually a really up, easy uh, thing to say, con- but the issue is we don't con- have con- a lot of studies on marijuana because marijuana actually yeah. hasn't been legally allowed to be studied. And that's actually one of the major no, no, causes. No, 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 like for the last hundred years, we haven't been able to do any real amount of research on it. And further no, on what you're, I, I do, I do feel with the notion that you're saying is that it's important to keep kids safe and keep families safe. And that's usually a, a big, it is a big pull for a lot of people to say, I want to keep the young, the, those who can't defend themselves, you know, those who don't know better, those who will just ruin themselves. I want to try to keep them safe. But that's actually not the initial reason that they were illegal. That wasn't the original, original reason cited for no, their no, actually I, I, being I, 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 made I, I, illegal. I, I, no, I already, no, I already said that there's, I know there's a lot of politics and stuff behind everything. That, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying initially, like, there's a reason why we have certain no, certain I'm, things. I'm agreeing with you, but the initial thing that you're claiming is actually you're pointing to something that is a reason that they're claiming now, but is not actually the initial reason. The initial reason that they were made illegal was to protest those who were, well, it was a way for the government to stop the protests of people fighting against the Vietnam War, because that was actually a major protest that we were having at the time, and Nixon really wasn't having it. And so that was him. He knew that he couldn't make it illegal to be black or to be a protester. But he did know that the war on drugs, if they focused on having the police in the uh, communities where the people of color were more often, they would catch people doing the same rate of drugs. But they would see the people in the poor neighborhood because that's the corner you're parked on. I'm not parked in the suburban corner watching the richer kids like go over and like trade their stuff. I'm in the suburb watching the poorer kids do it. And so basically, that's kind of the whole notion on that. No, initially, it was mostly just to keep control and keep quiet. And that's why even when you look on it today, on its face even today, without that history stuff, it still is, you you can see it as an aggression because that is a nonviolent individual not doing violent things, being put into the worst incarceration system. I think known, at least in first developed word, worlds. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no. So once again, I, I get that, and just like uh, cigarettes were once like legal to be, and like they made it, they legal cigarettes were like normal everywhere, blah blah. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we learn things about things over time. Yeah, but like cigarettes are, aren't illegal. Yeah. Well, 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 there are studies that have come out about like marijuana that show that kids doing it from like a young age, it's really bad for their mental growth. That's that's not you can look that up yourself if you no, want. No, I'm, I'm fully aware of those studies, that, but like I'm but, also aware that like that is true for like most but, all but, substances. But that's why I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm saying like stuff like alcohol, cigarettes. Like if you start uh, taking your ADHD drugs, medicine yeah. too young, you're gonna be fucked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That they that they that's why they should, they put. I mean, but all of that stuff is legal. Therefore, the drug stuff yeah, should no, also yeah, be that. legal. Like the 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 legal no, drugs no, 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 should please. also be legal because even the legal drugs that we apply right now could give you the exact same detriments as the other ones. If they, if you take it too early, it'll hurt you. If you take too much, it'll hurt you. If you focus on it, it'll hurt you. Like these are things that we know about. Even like if you take like twenty three Advil, that's herb aspirin. I don't know which, but it's fucking it for you we won't talk to you tomorrow 
Like, that's just kind of how the nature of those works. And you can buy those by the fucking hundred bottle over a counter. So I think that there are things that we should look at that right now are restricting Americans' freedoms and are allowing people who have the position of police officer to do bad things and solely the entire name of the police officers because this is something that's in their job. It's something that they legally have to do. As the Norm Book defects would say, I was ordered to do it, you know? And I think that that is bad. We should change that. All that should be moved. Yeah, but that's very much still, regardless of how you look at it, there's still all those drugs and stuff still have negative connotations to them. Not just connotations, but actual negative results. That right, but like, do you know cheeseburgers have negative connotations though? No, no, no. no. I get, I get what you're saying. I, I get. I, 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 mean, I don't. I, I, you, you say that, but I don't necessarily feel like you get what I'm saying because, like, I no, make no, the I point that, saying, like, I just because it's bad, it shouldn't be illegal. And then you say, I get what you're saying, but there's a lot of bad stuff out there, and there's some drugs getting to those kids, and it's like, but that's <laughs> my whole response was literally like, just because it's bad and just because it can get to kids does not justify it being illegal and it's still something that you go to when it's like yeah but it's illegal though right yeah and no like, but it shouldn't like, be and that's kind of what i'm talking about is the prescriptive no, nature like, of it. Like, okay like for example like as you said right like mm-hmm. burgers yeah like cheese when, yeah. when you when you when you tea when you give people like too many uh burgers and they're like you used to eating it over and over again right mm-hmm. you make it a normal thing you know if what you get overweight like before the age of 12 you're yeah. just kind of fucked for life that's just kind of how that yeah is. Well, yeah that's, that's exactly what i mean just yeah. like marijuana just like a lot of things when you when you get like get people used to it and mm-hmm. you allow them to have it like that oh and they just whatever just can just do it how many times they want like eventually yes stuff like obesity happens mm-hmm. those are then it ends up having long-term effects right yeah, but I don't think that we yeah, should be cold, like I don't I don't think we should be putting up those types of rubber stoppers in society. I think society should have a certain amount of freedom to it. That's what makes America no, America I, is the fact that I have the fucking right to eat cheeseburgers every goddamn day cuz cheeseburgers are American as fuck, dude. That shit's cheap. It tastes good. I have the right to do that and maybe it's the only thing in my income structure, you know? Like I don't think that saying just because that it can hurt you when you're young or just because, like, if you get into it unadvised, like, bleach will fucking kill you if you get into it unadvised. But, like, there are certain things that right now yeah. are made illegal, and the fact that they're illegal is in itself an injustice, and every time that law is carried out, it is a bad thing. But you're still, like, still, like, like you still have to acknowledge the fact that the bad, those they, there's a reason that they start, still start those bad things, right? Yeah, because it's on the books. Because there's on the books. No, no, but, but there's still negative results to people having those things. Right. right. But, like, would you be comfortable with cops stopping people from owning bleach without, like, being a licensed professional? Uh, but, like, ble- the thing about bleach, it's you like... You can have that under your bleach. sink. Kids can reach those cabinets. Yeah. yeah. But so we difference. should have... So normal people shouldn't have bleach. It should only be in the hands of professionals. I mean, yeah, like, that's why they, like... Only adults are able to go. Usually, only adults are able and buy the bleach, and you know. They yeah, go like home. any any legal adult can buy bleach, but I'm asking you right now because every legal adult can't buy pot or heroin. So what I'm asking right now is, if because pot and heroin, when they get to kids and they affect them while they're young, sure are illegal and should stay illegal. If bleach should become illegal because if it gets to kids, it'll murder them on the spot. Won't even give them a chance. There's no tomorrow. Should we make bleach illegal for everyday citizens to buy? No, because it's actually like you just like a lot of things in the world can kill people. Exactly. Like certain things are, yeah, like so. Um, therefore, all big, those other but, illegal but, but, but drugs should be legal. All of them. They should all be legal. You're, you're literally. You're. I think what you're doing is you're you're trying to just say. Martin Bailey, you some, absolutely not. The what? I was going to say, you. I think you're trying to, and I said, Mott and Bailey, you. Absolutely not. When I try to set up an easier argument, and then I switch to the harder argument and be like, there, it's defended. When I have actually only defended the easier one. But what I've offended here is the argument structure. You yourself don't think that because X is dangerous, X should be illegal when X is bleach. And therefore, just because X could kill kids, we shouldn't make it illegal for everyday Americans to buy. But over here, you say X should be illegal because it can hurt kids when X is illicit drugs. And I've shown you that that reasoning, if you use it for one, should stay consistent across both. And if you don't think the bleach should be illegal, then you don't think the drug should be illegal. But 
if you think the drugs should be illegal, you should think that the bleach should be just as much, if not more so, illegal because it has a greater potential for death. Good. Yeah, it's like but an inconsistency there, there, that you kind of have to work there, out. There, there, nah, but there, there's not really an inconsistency because you're trying, like, what you're doing is basically you're ignoring the, like, the dynamics of it. Yes, bleach is bad. Yes, marijuana is bad. Yes. But, like, quite literally, society, like, there's a big difference between bleach and marijuana. Bleach, yes. just like soap, just like a lot of things, just like kids can choke on a pla like should you should we ban should we ban plastic because it's bad? No. Absolutely there's certain not. things there's, there's certain things you should ban because they're bad in general and because we just know in general that kids should not be doing that. And now and, and I'm by the way I'm talking about right now these days that we actually have the research in our hand. Mm hmm I'm talking about right now. That we know that the bleach just keep it out of the kids' hands, like parents do. Parents keep bleaching. Well, we we had, we had a hard time keeping Tide Pods out of kids' hands a few months ago. That actually, yeah, we, had, we struggled that, with they, that they, one. They they actively looked for it because like it was like a trend or whatever. Yeah, but they were doing it regularly. Like, should we ban Tide yeah, Pods? Like, like, people people did that. Yeah, people did that. Yeah. So should we but ban was, Tide Pods because they were doing that regularly and killing themselves? No, no, no. But it's like it's no. Different. That's different when they're doing it regularly. It's not, it's not the same level. It's not the same. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. But the, 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 yes, there were people that died. People died from everything. Yeah. We'll do that from everything. There's everything is going to cause some debts. That's, that's, yes. that's, that's, Only yes. some things but should be banned. A, yeah, yeah, I'm a, with you there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, and I definitely believe cocaine, mar like marijuana, certain things should be banned, but know, you can't like, give, definitely... but you can't give a good reason for it. Uh, yeah, because of the 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 effects it has on like children's brain. Yeah, but like bleach has it. worse effects Just on like a child's baby. brain. Yes, it does have worse effects because it will yeah. literally kill a child. Right. But we, we as a society, so should we regulate have, bleach? We as a society know, but we as a society know like how to treat like teach a kid not to apparently not. To, like, not. They were eating uh, Tide bleach. Pods fucking no, no, no. three months ago. What do you mean we no, know as a society? Like, they were eating yeah, Tide Pods into their face for yes, for yeah, likes. Yeah. Like it was the yeah. dumbest thing I had seen in the longest time. They were literally finding soap yeah, and no. bleach and eating it for for people's attention yeah. like as a society yeah. we've clearly not taught people how to not do this because they are actively doing this so i'm yeah, asking you if we should regulate bleach they are doing it they are you can't say that they're not and that they're different like i get that one's reg for regular consumption and one's not for regular consumption but the issue is that they're both being consumed and they're one's fucking killing people off the fucking bat like and if things yeah, shouldn't yeah, be yeah, banned yeah. just because they're dangerous, and, and we're gonna we... have to get we're gonna have to give a better reason to ban it than it's dangerous because you don't think something should be de banned just because it's dangerous. So until you can give that reason, I have to submit that you don't have a good reason to have it banned, but you want it banned because the reason you've submitted you even don't think is a good reason. So uh, I, do, is I, there another I, I reason for banning cocaine or? Yes, because it ha like it because it hurt because it, it hurts people. Oh, wait, 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 but it, but it, 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 it's actually known to kill like what thousands of people each year. We like we see it hurt people on the streets all the time, just right. like with the sacrifice. So yeah, did like so sacrifice. did bleach and alcohol when it didn't wasn't fucking regulated. Yes, they, 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 like they, moonshine killed and made people it's, blind. Yes, but it's not the same level. Here's the thing. Yes, like moonshine, it's not the same level. Yeah, because it I'm, wasn't way, regulated. I'm still talking about nowadays when, when we know information, like tie pods, like you were saying, people eat tie pods. Yeah. People like quite literally, kids will do whatever they will have to do for like likes and that's that's that kind of a different story, you know. Mm -hmm. Kids will do what they have to do like, when they want to get attention. That's that was kind of a unique situation. We have to say that because like that's not really something. Like Kids would endure because society already trained them. Stay away from like stuff that society kids trained them People, to get likes. Kids were stupid. Yes, yes, I know that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Kids, kids are very stupid in society. They'll do stupid things like that. But so it's not, when the next it's bleach not, challenge comes because, around and it goes viral, kids are gonna do that next bleach challenge. They're just going yeah, to. Totally. I can't stop it. Like they're but gonna. Like, that's not, part of reality. Not, but it's not the same level as people who die because of like the complications of marijuana. Like marijuana doesn't kill directly. People who die but, from the but, complications oh, of marijuana, oh, you're gonna have to explain oh, that one for me a little oh, bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. people don't die from complications like from direct marijuana directly. But like all the stuff that's related to it, all the gang violence that 
Mm-hmm. All of that. But all like, of that's it, like, because it's illegal. If it, you could go to like a store yeah, no, next to the it. laundromat, there would be no gang violence due to marijuana. Like you do understand that, right, Emmanuel? Like if you could buy it, like you buy your chicken in the morning, there would be no gang violence around marijuana. Like you can agree with me that you understand that point, right? Or or is that no, is no, that no, like no. not something no, that no, you no, agree no, with would be no, real? Like, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like yeah, there's a complication because if it's legal, but there's also evil, there's also a complication if it, if if it is legal because it's still kids are still gonna get their hands on it regardless, right? Right. But we're talking I mean, about the difference of being gunned down in the street versus a parent having an actual conversation with their t- kid about what reality is. You know, mm-hmm. like you no, can't no, even no, deny no, the fact that America no, has a no, substance no. problem, and part of that is probably because we just say it's illegal. Yeah, and it's probably just because like we say it's illegal, we say don't do it, we say not even once. And then we have an opioid epidemic, the likes of which we've never fucking seen as a country before. Yep. And yep. part of the problem is the fact that we just say it's wrong. We just say it's bad. We don't acknowledge the fact that these drugs are thousands. Oh, I mean, some of the newer ones, no. But some of these drugs are thousands of years old and have stayed around in society and have only been cultivated and improved because of the effect they have on the body. And if we're not honest with kids about the effect that drugs have on the body, we have no chance at helping them out of this drug crisis. And if we just throw them in jail for using the drug in the first place and take away any chance they have at building a life because now they're a a criminal on record, that's a bad. That's a crime. That's starting an issue where there absolutely wasn't anyone to begin with. No, I get what you're saying. But you disagree like, but, with it like, completely. Uh, yeah, basically, like, dude, like, I'm still saying at the end of the day, like, once, but the, like, when society, can we, can we just oh, go through like point by point though? Because like you disagree with what I say, but I'm not sure here's, where. Here's, 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 wait, wait, yeah, let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah. Once you get society into that aspect of like, well, yeah, man, like, yeah, I know the law says this, but I'm still doing it. But like, we we really lose what makes us a society. Mm-hmm. Like, no, at I the end think of the day, follow the laws. Yeah. Yeah, like, dude. So exactly, if you're a police, they can just yeah. Thank you, the police officer when he's doing his job, he's right. not doing anything really wrong. He's following the law. Like the kid, if someone is not supposed to have something on them and they go ahead and do it, that's already them messing up the, the law. The issue, like, no, like, no, I, mean, like, like the, the, I think the, you've you've completed two two things right here. Is that the general but, idea that we should follow laws and the fact that any law is good, and those are two separate concepts. You get wait, that right? No, I get that. Yeah, so saying, so so just because laws are good, that doesn't mean just because he was following the law makes him a good person. Like just because no, generally I'm following saying, laws I'm are saying, good doesn't mean because I followed the law to slap the child makes me a I, good I'm, person. I'm, it makes me bad. I'm saying I'm saying you shouldn't be demonizing police for doing his job. No, but see, we're talking about like the job they choose to do because people were getting mad at police for spending all of their time arresting people who are drinking on the streets. That is something we got mad at them for. You could say, quote unquote, demonizing. I see it's, it's kind of nice trigger word. It feels a little bit like virtual signaling because what we're saying is they're doing something and we fucking hate it. Like they're doing an act. They're taking an action and we really don't like this action a lot. And we make them do the action, though. But no, overall, but you have, we they make could, them do the action because it's, it's for us. In general, it is for us. It is for us. Them doing those arrests, do, even though, yes, you can argue back and forth, there's this and this and this and this and this. It's still for the good of us overall. Like, but the intention of the good of us. Like, you don't know but, like, the intention of it being good, a little bit lost on me, because all of the worst people in history had the intention of being good. So just an intention isn't enough for me. Yeah, but, like, when they're doing their jobs to try to help society, kind of, yeah. No, like, I I understand that they're trying, and I love the fact that they're trying, and they've signed up for a job I'm never going to sign up for, for reasons. But just saying I have the intention of doing good isn't enough to make you good. It isn't enough to say that, like, what you're doing is good, you know? But he doesn't make him bad either. He's literally just... Making well, because sure well, let me in. let me hit you with something, and just you tell me if this person is bad, right? Someone understood okay. once this, upon a time. This, is this is this gonna be like is this gonna be like a scenario that's like really off the bat or something that's actually like it's gonna grounded. be something super pack in history, but it definitely happened in real life. Nothing to do with present. <sighs> You're right, but this is the thing. Okay, like, so basically, there's a person who understands there's like, that there's like genetic disease is eventually going to kill off human race because as long as there's genetic disease, people are going to keep growing up sick. People are going to keep growing up sickly. If you can pass off a disfigured arm, or if you can pass on a disfigured face, that that doesn't that makes people weaker. 
and so they tried to keep the American, or they tried to keep the human race strong for all of eternity by getting rid of those people. Is that a bad person? He he wants to keep humans alive forever. Is yeah, that a bad I, person? I, I kind of knew this was gonna be something really. Yeah. Bad. Well, because like he, they want to keep they want to really keep awful. humans alive. That's the whole point. They just want to make humans alive and perfect. That's all. That's all. Is are they a bad person? I mean, bro. Like depends it's really on the awful actions bad. they take. It it depends on the act. One hundred percent depends on the actions they take. But wait, and wait, that's wait, why wait, intentions wait, wait, don't wait, mean that wait, much. Wait, to wait, me. Just let's just let's just. Cutting a, a, a couple of things with what you just said. Okay. You're comparing somebody whose job it is to decide, like, um, to basically you say who lives and dies based on, like, their parents and stuff like that, based on, like, um, all of the, like, the features that they have and this and that. Mm -hmm. You're comparing that to, like, modern police. I, it's just not really the well, same. Well, no, no. See, that, what I'm asking you is conceptually, because you said, I think, I said that it, I don't think it matters for intention. And you said that when they're out there, like in the like on the line of work, you think it does. And so I set up a scenario where someone is doing a bunch of really hard work with a good intention mm -hmm. to see if you would think that person's a good person. If they're not a good person, then that means just doing hard work and having good intention doesn't make you a good person. So just having those two alone isn't enough oh, to yeah, make I'm only, you good. Let's just clarify. I'm not saying that all police are good people. I'm just saying they're doing their jobs. Right, and I I think that saying they're doing their jobs is a red flag that what we're talking about might be bad people. Because they're doing but, bad things and we're justifying their actions. And actions, but, at the end of the day, are almost all I care about. But you are, like, saying... It's, it's really just... You're, you're, like, you're just saying because they do their job that their jobs could have negative... That everything has negative and good consequences. No, no, I'm saying that their jobs have only negative consequences and no positive gain from it, necessarily. Like, the amount of negative outweighs the positive seven, by a you're lot. Saying them, you're saying them seven millions of lives are negative? No, no, I'm saying that when they carry out certain laws and they carry out certain policies, that carrying that out is bad. That specific policy, not them all together as a career, but that specific policy is a bad thing for them to carry out. And therefore, we should change those laws and their training. We should move funding. Like, well, honestly, the phrase defund the police probably moves in the wrong direction because genuinely the police might need a similar, if not more amount of funding for the type of training we want them to actually get. We just want to also have funding for people who like have social workers. And so when there's a homeless dude just chilling outside a place, you send someone who will like show will show up and be like nice to them. You don't send someone with like a gun and a taser. You know, like when there's like certain disputes. So and all you're, that, you think that a homeless person that's acting all crazy in front of like Walmart is gonna is gonna respect uh someone like so you so you're 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 thinking in a scenario, right? Your two friends walk up to this homeless person that's acting all kinds of crazy. He wasn't acting crazy. He was just sitting in front of the store making them uncomfortable because he was homeless okay. and sitting there. Making them, making them uncomfortable. You think that the that, that homeless person will have reacted way nicer to your two friends? I mean, would have reacted way more without those police there? Would mm -hmm. have respected your two friends' opinions if the police were not there? Yeah. The, really I've, been, so. I've been demonstrated no reason to not believe that. It has been shown that when you should walk up to people with respect, they respond to you. And so, even yeah, even, I've, so, I've been shown reason so to believe that he would respond to them and that he wouldn't. And on top of that, I wouldn't be sending my two friends to these scenarios. I'd be sending other trained professionals who are trained specifically only in de-escalation yes, and they helping. Have authority. Yeah. They have authority like the cops did. The cops, the, probably the real reason that the homeless man respected your friend's opinion. Right, and the people we without the cops, right, you, but the people we train to respond to violence really... shouldn't be the people we train to respond to nonviolence. Like we should send, we should have not the same person go to the same situation. Like, well, I don't call the police when I have a fire. It's just a matter of designating what social interactions are actually police worthy and what social interactions would be social worker worthy. It's literally just that. But even when if it's social work, worker, where if they don't have any authority behind them, what does that have to do? Like they have an amount of authority behind wanna, them. They're just on. not trained to commit assault or to commit arrests. Yes, and you really, you really think that society is going to respect? Hey, by the way, I'm a social worker. Just 
yeah, no, stop doing bad stuff. Yeah, now well, maybe when they're a professional, they won't, like, make a caricature of themselves when they walk up. They'll be able to walk up as an actual person, and unless they have a uniform, they could sit down and be like, hey, what's going on? What's up with you? And have, like, a real human-to-human -human conversation with humans in our society that are struggling. Yeah, I, mean, that's cool I think I think it's more magical to imagine that everyone in society, especially with how much lack of trust there are for cops, are just going to start complying and that the cops in the shootings because of their compliance has gone up is going to gun down. I think that's kind of fairy tale esque. I think that we should pay someone, train them for a specific job and deploy them when that instance calls for it. But you'll still need authority, like more authority than this. But by the way, I'm a social worker. I'm just, I'm just saying. And like, can, and no, I know that you're. I know that you're. Feel free. No, I understand that you feel free to say, "Hey, I'm just a social worker," and I understand that you think that we'll just be taking social workers we have today and putting in those scenarios. I understand that that's conceptually. I no, I get that that's conceptually what you're saying is that I'm gonna take a modern day social worker who is usually one of the more shit on positions and then just put them in charge of meeting. I get that that's what you think is happening, but we're talking about a new branch of law enforcement that is specifically trained to help people and not arrest them. That's all I'm talking and about right now. We're not talking about just taking to, an individual and moving it over. We're talking about a whole clear, new let me, department. Let me, clear, let me clarify this. Okay, so this is a whole new department. Right. But you, what, so are they just basically still police officers? No, they don't do arrests like that. Like, I, I can't imagine a society where people... Who are who are who are in like agitated situations? Well, because let's lo let's go back to a response you gave wait, me at the wait, very wait, beginning wait, of this. Really, dude, you never really finish. Let me finish. I'm, okay, I'm sorry. That's, but, that's like, okay. like people, people like who are like not in the position of power, of the police. You they and you just expect them to like just respect someone who comes there and who doesn't really have any like so unquote like ability to, to actually physically stop them if they get too rowdy. Mm -hmm. you're, you're thinking that you think we live in a society that right if someone was acting rally and they just needed to be talked to that that's that person whoever branch you're talking about can basically come there because basically i'm thinking you're just describing police officers and mm -hmm. you're trying to teach you're well trying no because like officers more. you answered my question in the positive at the very beginning of all this you actually positively said what you thought the truth was, and you agreed with a statement that you're now painting out to be ridiculous. Because when I was telling you about my situation with the friends, and you said, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of factors. That's not just because the police didn't have training. Clearly, your friends are less intimidating. They're not as big. They're not there to try to take up the situation. They're not seen as police officers. They don't have the badge. They don't have the stigma. You said all that. And you posited all of those as possibilities as to why that situation was easier. And I agreed with you that they are, in fact, possibilities. And but those, pos and those, po and those possibilities are still true when you're talking about social workers. Someone who is not as intimidating, doesn't have the stigma, doesn't have the badge, doesn't, say, doesn't have the weapons. We're sti you, I you think that these are all positive reasons yourself that this is something that people would respond to in our current society. So I answer your question directly. Yes, in the affirmative, I absolutely do believe we live in a society where people who are less intimidating don't have the necessary immediate threat of overpowering someone and threat and physically controlling them will better act for cooperation with people who need mental help. Yes, I do. Yeah. But I also pointed out the fact that the only reason that the, the guy was cooperating with your two friends was because the police officer was there, too. No, that was another thing you posited, but you can't imagine that you didn't posit all those other things as real, actual possibilities. Now that it works against your situation, this is wait, actually wait, this is actually this? one of the major problems I have when talking, and I don't get a, many opportunities to talk to conservatives. Oh, most of the ones I get spend the most time with are actually right inside my family. But the issue I find is that there are certain beliefs where you're like, I think this, and this is right. And then when we'll move over just one topic, there'll be a special pleading and arguments for why this is no longer a rule and no longer valid. And I think that that's part of the inconsistencies and why it's sometimes hard for the right and the left to talk. Because while the left is usually even seen to like go after their own and like we hang ourselves out in a tree is because we're stuck up with morals because we've taken a stance and we're trying our fucking best to keep that one stance true. And here's an instance where like you have both. And you kind of have to look at that because having both is doesn't work. Like you, this is like kind of like the other part where you have to like really understand that you pick, you eat the cake or you have cake, but you can't do both. Okay, I mean, kinda, you kind of just kind of went on a little bit of a 
But, a little bit of a rant, yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying, bro, like, I did point out that part of the reason why the guy probably took your friend seriously, because the guy was there and in front of the supermarket, and people were walking in and forth and back and forth. That's why the police were called on him, right? Well, because he was You really what? think the guy, the, guy, the guy got the police called on him, right? Right. All right. And he, he was, was doing uh, you. You saw... like cut out when you said something about going in and out of the. Uh... No, 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 no. So, and then people were going in. And he saw everybody, regular people coming in and out of the store, right? Mm-hmm. He wasn't intimidated by those guys, were they? Was he? The homeless guy wasn't intimidated by the people coming in and out of the store. Yeah. Yeah. No, they were probably ignoring him for the most part. Oh uh, well, they were definitely uncomfortable with him, and then they called the police on him, right? Yeah. Well, because he's homeless in front of... I would imagine that the people who own and ran the store did it because they understand that a homeless dude right next to your place of business makes people not want to come inside because they don't want to be potentially harassed by a homeless man. So it was probably the store owners who called it. Uh, But that would be... That would be us, both of us guessing. But that would be both of us guessing. He doesn't... But yeah, like him harassing people or making people feel uncomfortable. Well, because well, the situation is, not, is he, that he doesn't, wait, 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 he's wait, wait, not wait, wait, harassing wait, wait, people. Wait, wait, You're missing that part. Wait, oh my gosh. He, yeah, but like, okay, like, well, I don't know if he's not, but like, he wasn't he, harassing making, people. He was well, sitting but, there on the floor being homeless, right, he was, he was, he was, making he, people he, feel he, uncomfortable he with his homelessness. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, wait, wait, okay. okay wait. So he, you kind of realize the homeless man does know that he shouldn't be there. No, but see, that's, part of, that's part of the problem of literally all the people saying that, like, I just don't like seeing this homeless man in front of me. Like, that's literally what it is. It's yeah, just them saying, I don't want the person of this lower class in my freaking area. Get them out. But you do understand. He does kind of know I, that he's I get it, but that's part, of, that's, that's part of the problem. He's, is that he's, he, he's, 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 he has he's, the he's, right he's, to be there. Let like, everybody finish, else. Okay. Let, me, let me just finish. Let me just finish, okay? He knows he, he shouldn't be there because he knows he's going to make feel, people feel uncomfortable. He knows it's going to make the, work, the store, the people, kind of feel not... It's comfortable going in and out. So this is part of that He's fascism that I was people. talking about earlier. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish my sentence. Let I know, I know. Sentence. But that, just letting you know, this is what my wait, response wait, is going to be. Wait, this wait, is kind wait, of fascist. Wait, wait, wait. I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. All right, but let me finish my sentence. He knows that he's going to make the people feel uncomfortable. He he knows, let's face it, he definitely knows that he shouldn't be right there. He knows that, that like that's really making the store feel uncomfortable. He knows it's causing a different vibe. He's not afraid of the people there. He's he's not afraid that people walking in and out in discomfort. He's pro- he he probably is actually one or two for money. He definitely knows he shouldn't be there. He's not afraid of the regular people. Who is he afraid of though? The police officers. Which your and your friends are just regular people, just like the people that are going in in and out of the store. Mm-hmm. He was not afraid of your friends. The friends probably are not the cause that he left. Your friends probably helped him calm down, but your friends were not the cause of why he left. The police officers were the authority that basically helped your friends actually get things going. But your your friends probably did not make the difference in the scenario. Because the homeless man already knew that he was caught in discomfort. The homeless man was not scared of the regular people. The homeless man was not scared of like making people uncomfortable. The homeless man just saw the police, saw your friends, and were like, Okay, well, the police the police are gonna kick me out anyways. And these guys are, you know, making me feel a little bit better about it. Might as well move on. The, the homeless man Really, was at the end of the day. Let's face it. Without the police there, without an actual, without any actual authority there, he wasn't. He was not really. Going oh to shit! Make there was move. someone who showed up in the chat. I didn't even notice them. Uh, it looks like oh. one of your people, Emmanuel. Where's the glizzies? Oh, facts. How did <laughs> they know that I was on your chat? Oh, I don't know. I guess he just came to see. That's interesting. Yeah. How did he know that? Who, a, a, how uh, you that? I'm just did browsing, and I came across someone I'm following on TikTok, Lamo. Oh, well, dope. Uh, if you're still here, I'm super glad to have you. And feel free to drop any questions you have in chat. No facts. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Um, the the homeless yeah, man because... also being intimidated by the police, not just my friends. Yeah, yeah. Like you see, you see all the connections of him not being afraid of the that, like the m- many people going in and out of the store. He's not afraid of the fact that he knows that he probably shouldn't be in front of the store making people uncomfortable. You already, you already, we all know with good percentage of certainty that he knows that he shouldn't, he shouldn't be out there making people uncomfortable. He knows he shouldn't be just sitting out there, even even if it was just a regular person, even if it was just a, wasn't a homeless person, just sitting out there, it would make people feel uncomfortable. 
No, but see, the thing was is that I, I'm, I'm really interested on where to start with this one because there's a whole lot of places I want to start. I want to I want to make sure I touch on why about the uncomfortability of the people's feelings. I want to touch on the scaredness of it, but I would really like to start on how he knew he wasn't supposed to be there. I think that's an interesting one, and I think that one is actually more the root than any of these other points that I would necessarily uh, have contention with. So I really don't think I should jump down this rabbit hole, but I'm absolutely going to. Uh, where should the homeless person be? Um, well, definitely not interrupting someone's business. Because well, let's face it, he does know he's he's homeless. Even a regular person would know that. A regular person would know. Mm -hmm. They've been in front of the store for a long period of time. It's a little creepy. It's disturbing. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're homeless and you know, you already know it's going to Right, so should they just, like, keep moving throughout the city uh, across the day just to make sure they're not in one place for too long? Well, this is a place of business, you know? Right, well, like most places are either a place of business, a place of factory work, or, like, a residential zone. That's kind of how cities get zoned, so. Yeah. I like, mean, how, like, where should the homeless person go, real quick? Like, like where um, do they, like, where do they know they should be, you know? I mean, either go into somewhere that they can get shelter, or like I don't know. Like, well, like, I mean, like if they but they shouldn't if they don't have a place to go, anywhere. where do they go? Yeah, well, I mean, but like definitely not in front of a Walmart where you know you should be hanging around. For well, because right? I feel like it's really easy to say no matter what location I would give you. Well, you could say well, obviously, definitely not there. I feel like that yeah, works for like, literally but... any location, like in the residential zone. Well. Obviously not there, because that's where, like, other people have regular homes. It'll lower the property value. Well, how about in the business area? Well, obviously I, not I just, there, because there are businesses just, there, and they're lowering the value. I, well, what about the park? Just, well, obviously just, not there. That's where I take the kids. What are the kids just, just see named, homeless just, people? I, like, where are they I, supposed to go? I just named you some places. I said either at the shelters right. that, they should, that they can be at. But, like, if a city like, doesn't wherever, have shelters, because there are tons of places, cities, like, whole cities don't have shelters. So, like, where are those homeless people supposed to go? Well, either the shelters or wherever, like, they know they're not harassing. Well, because, like, even when they set up tent areas, when they find an area that's, like, not near general mm -hmm. public and they set up what we end up deeming a quote-unquote tent city, the police are allowed to go in there and break their property and take it all because that's not somewhere they're allowed to put their house, even though it's away from where people are. So well, the yeah, the, the issue the, one of the main issues I'm trying to highlight by this line of questioning is showing that the thought process that they know they shouldn't be here is one of the major problems we have as people who are not yet homeless dealing with the homeless. Well, I got you. No, but here's the thing, though. And then the... also, I kind of wanted to. Oh, sorry. Yes. What's the thing? Yeah, like I get what you're saying, bro. But at the end of the day, like, if the police do come and see them, and the police see them, and they're like, oh, okay, well, you're here. Yeah, then there's the police. The police is, is now either in charge of moving him somewhere else, mm. or the police is in charge of finding him a place to stay. That, now, that, that's a fairy tale. That's an absolute fairy tale. That's not the real yes, world. Yes, but I know. But no, 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 no. Yeah, that's a complete I, I, fairy tale and does not happen in real life. I, you do know that, right? What yeah, you just no, said. That's what I'm saying. That's but like what, the, what you just said, it was like a real life thing. is not a real life thing. And I'm worried that that didn't sink in over the last three seconds. I'm really making sure no, that no, no, the cops no, 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 is no, no, not no, responsible no, for no, finding them a new place to be or taking them to somewhere where they're allowed to be. They're just responsible yes, for that's... removing them from the location or sending them to jail. That's all the cops responsible for doing because they have other things they have to go do because a cop is not a social worker. A cop has yes, other crime. A cop has cool. murder. A cop has shootings. A cop does not have the... Once a cop sees a homeless person, it's not that cop's responsibility to be their foster parent and move them to a new location. That's fairy tale land. They just break no, their property, not, that's, that's, take their property, which is very unconstitutional, and then tell them to be on their way or suffer getting arrested. That's what cops do with homeless people. So don't bring fairy tales. Yeah. Don't bring fairy tales no, at all, pretty please. No, I don't deal with fairy not, tales. Not, no, 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 no. I don't deal with fairy tales either. Like you, that you, that you're a good amount of fair share of like tell tale beliefs on this whole thing. Mm -hmm. But like, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. The police, like, uh, that's why I said the first thing was either to move him from his location or find him somewhere. Else. Yeah, but now, that second it, thing it, you it, said it, 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 is a fairy tale. Yeah, that second, you just know, repeated know, the fairy know, tale. I know, I know, no, I know, no. I'm saying okay. So, yeah, the place, the place to put him, it could be jail. 
Well, most I know, like a lot of cops do say that the homeless people will just find themselves trying to get arrested just so they can have a place to sleep in jail. Or, and they, it's very rare for police officers to actually go and like you know find a like homeless person. A well, it doesn't happen because it's not part of their job. Yeah, but it's it, it happens. Right, but should we yeah, have charity be the it's average? Like, but yeah, but but it's I said it's rare. It's rare. Yeah, like, okay. It's very rare. Yeah, but it's it, 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 like it's either either you're they're moving them. Is it more is it more like, rare than cops is, is, who break the law, or is it like equal with cops who break the law? Do you think? Of cops that give homeless people places to stay. Yeah, you think it's like more rare than cops who break the law? I'm just trying to like because we've used rare a couple cops times in this conversation, and I'm trying to like, it's like, it's like give a distinction for what these things are and like how like, important on average, they are. On, on average, like last year, four percent of cops had any complaints like towards them. So pretty rare for cops to actually break the law. Right, but I'm asking if do you think it is more rare? For cops, yeah, I'm just I, I understand that it's a certain I'm amount of rare. Really rare. Like, is it okay? It's really rare. I'm, it's gonna go really with rare more. I'm just gonna go with more. I'm gonna go with more rare than breaking the law. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. I don't. Know. Yeah, it's definitely rare for a police officer. Either either they're arresting them or if they're sorry, I have to scratch an edge. You're all good. I mean, I have to add, I have the agent scratch. <laughs> you're all you're scratch. all good, my dude. I feel those. I'm like wearing yeah, regular yeah, yeah. pants for the first time in forever because I'm terrified of standing up on camera because I feel yeah. like I might. No, I'm just saying though, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's it's generally like it's really uh basically that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, and once again, yeah, you're right. The cop is not a social worker, right. but let's let's face it. Like what what like what do you think happens? Do you do you believe? Okay. Let's 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 play the scenario in your head, right? Okay. I love hypo let's, let's I love hypotheticals. Let's play a scenario in your head, let's, let's in your head okay? Okay. Let's let's say we did have social worker future whatever. They pull up social in their Social workers car and cops, yeah. Oh yeah, like they pull up in their car or something. Oh, well, so is this like social workers being backed up by cops? Basically, is that what no? You're like imagining? there are situations that would require both. Absolutely. Like if there's like a violent, crazy person, like send someone who can talk and send someone who can subdue them. But like there are situations that you don't need to do with a gun at all. You just need someone who has some talking ability. And I think in those situations, you'd only send the social worker. But unless we're gonna also train how, cops to be social you... workers, which is a whole bunch of training, we could just would, give would someone else that job. Would you uh, say the social worker would need like at least a gun or something to be able to do their? That's something I'd be willing to negotiate about because there are certain situations that I do feel like it would be best to be able to defend yourself. But then there are also situations where if you're going to be getting in close and trying to get someone to trust you, maybe having a firearm at the strength of a gun actually wouldn't be smart for either of you. And maybe at that point, you should have something closer to, like, pepper spray or a taser. So, so basically, the social worker ends up becoming, like, almost the same situation as the cop. Well, no, because the difference that, is that the so, the social worker would absolutely, like, never use force unless their absolute life was in danger. And a cop is allowed to use force to control a situation. That's the main difference there. I mean, but, like, once again, you're talking about humans who are very flawed. And, you know, if, if someone sees something and thinks that his life is in danger... They're not, they're not gonna hesitate to pull out the gun, right? Well, so really that's believe, why maybe if, one if, reason if, that social workers shouldn't have them. But I'm willing to talk about it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, bro. You're judging cops for reacting like they're told to react when something like bad happens. Mm -hmm. The same thing's gonna happen with social workers. Who no, because we'll gonna train. So the difference is there. You said I'm getting mad at cops for doing what they're trained to do, and I am. I wouldn't be getting mad at social workers for the same thing because they would be trained to do something completely different. But what they're going to be trained to do is just talk to people, right? Mostly, yes. Yes. When they're talking to these people and things get out of control and they think their lives are in danger, they're no different from those cops who pull out their gun right away and shoot. Well, maybe they will have no a, maybe they can have a silent alarm that they use to trigger the cops. And the cops can respond to those ones faster. I don't know. Do there are, there are things that we can respond to in this situation, yeah. So, 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 so like, basically, they'll just have to have police back up with them. No, I think if you have, I think having the police on site situations is a big problem. But having a direct line to the police, I think there's something that they could do as social workers. The police, police will usually like don't get to a crime like on a, like when it's really like happening. It really happens. It usually takes like a good enough amount of time. So by the time the social worker has to be able to react right then, right then. And that's like, even, and even maybe that's why that they should have weapons on them. 
But they yeah, should be com- but they should be different than a cop because a cop will willingly and is allowed to use force to control a situation. One, I think that's bad. Police, but it doesn't seem like that's something that's going to get reformed also. Like I, that's something that I'm genuinely been looking at. I've been looking over the history of it and it seems like for actual decades the police have not given an actual fuck about how they do a lot of shit and they will just do whatever they wanted. Like they still release dogs on humans. Like that's fucking wild. Like so, we should have a group of people who are able to deal with certain oh, situations. Like I, I think the whole people. thing needs to be reformed, and if we could fix the police in such a way that they could respond to all situations, I'd fucking love that. That's half the people to pay, but it doesn't seem like that's something that we're gonna get based off the nature of what we ask cops to do. Yeah, we're not gonna get you. You're basically a lot of what I see uh, left is doing is like acting for us. It's like a magical world where police officers are just. Just gonna be like, even if you give them, like, I mean, it's not magic. Rip. We're talking about common sense it, it, policy but, 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 but here. Here's the thing: even if you give them all the training in the world, it's still gonna be right there, instinctive. Someone seems to be attacking me. What am I gonna do? Boom! Right, and people Attack. who can't overcome those instincts don't deserve to be police because we have people that we train in America. They're called Navy SEALs. They don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. They don't give a fuck about those instincts. Why? Because they were properly trained to deal with the scenarios that they go into. So exactly, exactly. I, so you the police that, need oh, different but, training. You realize, but you realize that yeah, you're you're, you're thinking, thinking that I'm using this. You're going to use this as a way to say that we should more highly militarize the police as a way to give them the proper training they're needing. But I'm saying is that both these forms of law or whatever they are. Okay. Oh my God. For sure. Hey, what were you gonna I'm, say? I'm just saying, there's a reason when we glorify more. It's very rare to find humans like that. We need a lot of cops. A lot of them. Like a yeah. lot. Yeah. Hundreds and thousands of cops. Yes. We don't. We don't. You don't have hundreds of thousands of Navy SEALs and Marines for a No, reason. but we should have it's a high very, enough standard that people can rise to. Very, like, like here's I, I have. I could probably think of, like, three policies off the top of my head that would magically wave along and get rid of a lot of the problems we have with police. Wait, I'm just saying, it's very rare for us to have human beings like that. Very, very rare. Mm -hmm. So rare that it's not going to work in a society where you Yeah, a lot of Navy SEALs get kicked out. But there are solutions yeah. that should that we should be looking at because there are other countries that can issue guns to every single person in their country and not nearly have the problem we have. So here's one situation I have to direct this problem. If a cop turned off his body camera in active duty, he lost his job. That's an easy one right there. No, no, no. Because if you are choosing to no longer actively turn off your camera... Like we we can get into whether or not it didn't have a proper charge and maybe there should be some penalty for like not knowing if your shit was charged and all that. But like if you turn off your camera, you should lose your job as a police officer. There's a lot of police officers that once they get an infraction, they just get moved to another department and they're no longer a police department or a police officer in like say San Mateo or something, but they're yeah. still a police well, look, officer well, in some I, I, other town. And that's an issue. Like they should yeah, be and I understand, bro. And I completely understand what you're I saying. I mean, not bro. really, because you're saying that these situations would be like a magical wand to get rid of police violence, when really, if you just start actually expelling violent police officers, you will reduce police violence yeah, very bro, bro, quickly, bro, bro, like bro. within a generation. You wouldn't, though, because here's the thing about it, bro. Like, here's the really quick thing about it. Just like the presidents, well, certain pr- presidents do have a mirror to be able to do certain crimes. Presidents have like, what? There's going to be, there's, there's, there's be certain things. No, 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 like, actually, it's a thing. Presidents do have leeway because there's going to be a lot of things that presidents do that's going to be considered criminal. Because just the nature of their job. It's, it's, it's an actual thing. They're going like, to do things that are considered act- criminal or they're allowed to do criminal things? Because those no, are two no, different, no, those are like, two different statements. No, no, no. There's going to be situations where things... But they're allowed to do criminal be- things or they do things that appear criminal? No, there's going to be things that are like they're going to arrange on criminal that presidents will end up doing, right? So wait, wait. I'm I'm trying to be really clear. So that will be the president will be in some way breaking a law. Yeah. Yeah. In like, the situation. Okay. So stuff. so in some way, presidents wait, are allowed wait, to break wait, the wait, law. I would have to disagree. Wait, wait. Let me let me finish my thing. Okay. Here's the thing, though. Just like police officers, right? There's a like yes. I know it's it's kind of a is a is a crappy situation, and like mm-hmm. there's bad cops, and that's true. But. Just like when a per- parent, there's always going to be bad things that happen. There's no such thing as perfection. I don't know. Call me a bleeding heart liberal. I think there's one law. 
call call me dreamlandy i think that there should be one rule of law and the rule of law is applied equally to all individuals in the society so i will agree to you wait wait real quick i will agree to you that the president because if you had worded it differently i would have agreed to you I would have agreed if you had said the president is allowed to do things that appear illegal. Absolutely. They change and twist and bend the law a whole bunch of ways so they can do whatever they want. But to actually be allowed to do illegal things, that is absolutely where I have to draw the line. No, they're not allowed to do illegal things, but they are allowed legally to do things that we wouldn't. Yes. Allowed to break the law? Fuck no. Yeah, basically what she just said before. Okay, cool. the The same thing with police, right? Right. There's there's gonna be too a lot of situations where the police will do stuff, and that's why I don't agree with a lot of times with the police get away with stuff. Mm-hmm. But that's the nature when when the, oh, there's the nature of their job. Their job is gonna be basically, hey man, I'm gonna end up doing this, and then some things are gonna go wrong. Something's mm-hmm. gonna go wrong. That's why they have the layaways with being able to be like, all right, well we'll move you to a different department or something, because we know it's gonna happen in your job. There's going to be messed up things that happen in your job. Right, but we're talking about there's, a there's, hero there's, status oh, job. Right. There's going, to be mess, there's going to be messed up things that happen in your job as a police officer. That's a fact. That's why I believe there should be layaway. 4% of cops actually get any Wait, complaints. when you me. say layaway, like, do you mean like leeway? Leeway, you, like leeway, sorry. Okay, but I have for Nigerian, sure. I have, I have Nigerian, I have Nigerian accent, I have a French accent. It comes It comes and I say things right. Oh, bro, bro like, you're all yeah. good. You're all good. But yeah, yeah. Like there should be leeway, cause we all know you're gonna get into some crap when you're a police officer. You're not, you're not gonna have a pl- perfect. I never ran into a complicated situation where mm-hmm. I, what I did to help the community kind of verged on a kind of legal and legal. You're really gonna run, you're gonna run into something. Yeah, but like and that's just a fact. There's no perfection. You're, you're, you're I, I understand a, that there's no perfection, but just because there's no perfection doesn't mean that that's something we can't work for. We don't have to just say, oh, well, this sucks. No, no, I'm Yay. not. Yay! Like that. because it's, because it's, it's we understand so that they do do things wrong, and it, it, I actually it, it, don't think that we sh- that there should be more leeway for your average citizen than there is for any officer doing anything. Because an average citizen didn't take an oath to be a citizen, but an officer did. And so, uh, if we're going to be giving leeways to anybody, it goes to the citizens first. Um. Absolutely. No, that, no, that's a that's. I don't know how you could possibly disagree with that. How can the cops be allowed to get away with more bullshit than I am? Who, when they're in charge of me, like, how is that even something that we can accept? Uh, because we're the ones that are putting them in charge of our stuff. So yeah, we can accept that there's gonna be I'm bad putting, things that happen. Wait, I'm putting someone in charge of my stuff to accept for them to have a lower standard of responsibility than me. No, wait, wait, wait. clarify. Okay, right. so uh, we're putting we're putting the the stuff in the hands of the police, and we're asking the police to have less leeway than me. So they have less responsibility, and the power that I gave them doesn't make sense. All right, so they get more power, yes, right, to, because they have to have the power to do stuff. That being said, they're dealing with a lot more complicated things than us. We're we're living our lives. We're we're doing whatever we gotta do to go home. This and that. I'm sorry. Wait, the... wait, wait, wait. Can we finish? Let me finish. Like they're right. they're okay. They're here. They have to deal with RBS every single day. They have to deal with this, this, and this, this factor, this factor, this factor, this factor. Like imagine if you gave your yeah this one. There was one kid that you gave all the responsibilities. Hey, make sure to take care of the the roof make sure to take care of the of this take care of this take care of this right and the little kid and the little kid let's just pretend a little kid is a symbol of the average citizen look the, the baby child is like he doesn't really he doesn't really know much about like he doesn't have the authority that, why am i asking an average the, citizen to do or, something or, or, why why am i not asking a cop to do something in your scenario no no wait, wait. The, 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 i'm not asking the cop the, the average citizen to just basically go on with their lives because they like the Wait, but, but the, I thought I said I was is... giving responsibility to the baby. I'm sorry, I'm just trying no, to follow no, your you're metaphor you're right giving... now. No, you're giving responsibility to the older child. To the older child, okay. Yes. So the older child has to clean the house, do this, get the food, go get groceries, right. take care of this, take care. There's like the older child has to do with all the factors, all these factors. 
and the the baby is just like okay well i gotta go eat now okay mm-hmm. hey something bad happened uh in the kitchen there's a there's a rat there can you go kill it oh oh my goodness the tv broke can you take care of that like mm-hmm. there's gonna be there's gonna be situations right where right. the the where the the, sh- the the grown child is just has to deal with so much where it's like it's okay well you like it's okay okay well you weren't able to take care of the you weren't able to take care of the dishes because you were too busy because like all this stuff that happened and like blah 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 the little kid vomited on the floor so you had to do this and this and that there's a lot mm-hmm. of factors going on for the big kid but the right. little kid goes to sleep gets comfortable because the police do regardless of whatever you say the police still do take care of the citizens and, right i really you know, i really like this analogy because it's a good way to show up the power dynamic and as much as i might disagree with like it being a kid and his older brother i feel like that is a good commentary on the psychological aspect that they're all people and they're just people with the badge but i think your analogy falls short just because the police is running run-ins or like all of the older brother's responsibilities would have been to do something to enforce something onto the younger child. Like, that would have been pretty much most of it. Like, it would have been the older child forcing the younger child to do something because he didn't follow the rule, or he's, like, not somewhere he's supposed to be, so he's forcing him to go there. So the analogy is a little bit different in the sense is that when we're talking about what the police are doing, it's not like they're off doing our dishes. Like, they're arresting us. Like, the criminals are the citizens. All right, okay, okay, okay. how about this? The, the the older child, right? Get, is it yeah, okay if I grab a uh, Red Bull real quick? I, I won't be able to hear you for this. No problem. Yeah, can you actually. No problem. But I, I gotta I'm I gotta gonna... pee real quick. Can you just give me five seconds? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank I'm you. gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do Instagram live real quick. I don't know. Oh, if I can. absolutely. Yeah, please, please be my guest. I have, I don't really use Instagram, so I might as well try. For sure. Wait, do you do okay? trying to see okay all right i gotta move this all right i just started my i just started my instagram live again oh nice i haven't done i need to work on my instagram like my instagram is slacking right now yeah no i've been doing like a whole bunch i've been doing a halo campaign recently and uh I just haven't been blowing it up. Like, I I commented, like, I put the special scene clip from the first one when you beat it on, like, the hardest difficulty, but I forgot to get them for all the other ones, so it's just like, oops. Oops. Yeah, I think I should do is these lives, this Instagram live. Wait, are you, are you, are you a chance? I'm sorry, you cut out right there. Am I a what? What, what, are you like at work tomorrow or something like that? Just checking, because like I was trying to do a live basically tomorrow if possible. Oh, you're you're asking him. Yeah, yeah. Oh no 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 no! I'm like oh, asking me? you. I was just oh wondering. yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I don't got I don't got work tomorrow. I got laid off by the coronavirus. I used to work at a movie theater. Oh, okay. I was fired oh, gotcha. being the manager of a movie theater, but apparently they don't like putting people in small rooms sitting very close together for some reason. I can't. I don't know why. I don't. <laughs> I got you, I got you. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, well, okay. I mean, this is, I, I got it like a couple, like a thousand something on Instagram so far. Oh, that's nice, Maybe if dude. I, I got if, shit if I, do, on if, I, if I do a little bit more pushing, hopefully I'll get a little bit more. But there's four people on live right now online. Hey, um, nice. Hey, yo, anybody have any questions for him by chance? Oh, no. It's oh, I love, I love answering yeah. questions. 
See, that's what I, I don't like you know, about I'm, that. Just... I'm sorry. I guess I've spent, like, most of this time drilling you, but I haven't really, like, let you probe me that much at all. I feel like you know, like, you don't know much about me. No, that's not much. I mean, it's not really, like, I'm not trying to probe you. But I was, like, basically just trying to interview, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is asking, who is you? Who are you? He's, like, a friend of mine on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Local Twitch streamer. <laughs> Prefer to be yeah, identified a as a Twitch, Twitch streamer. streamer than a TikToker, personally. Yeah, he's more of a Twitch streamer than a TikToker, but yeah. Um, but uh, but honestly, uh, like, what was it? What was it? Uh, I mean, we've. I think we're probably gonna have a stalemate on this whole. Yeah, I, honestly, like, I think it is. I feel like we've also explained our opinions on this a lot, like very well. Yeah. So I'm ready. Like, if you, well, you, I've had you for a while. If are you down to do a little bit more? I have one more question. I was actually really yeah. teaming at the bit to ask you. Thanks. Oh, it was a question. What was your thought? Because uh, I, I, th I think we can do, if, we, if you're free in the morning, mm -hmm. we can do a live, a Instagram live in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure in the morning there's going to be a lot more people because this is like literally my first time doing Instagram live. Uh-huh. Oh, like, yeah, dude, definitely. Try to We're also like in the middle of the night and we've been running for an hour and a half. So if you want to like call this clue close and we can meet up again later, I'm totally chill with that. Like you've been more than uh fucking, I was going to say graceful, but I think I'm all, like gracious more than willing to like sit down and talk with me in like a nice way and i really appreciate that it's not it's genuinely something you don't find no, i appreciate you having me man but yeah man uh oh this guy says i was in your live stream you're eating a glizzy <laughs> yeah but yeah what was your question to go oh uh, yeah i was gonna ask um what was your opinion on trump saying that he might want to delay the election in the it was like breaking news this morning. I don't know if you've heard of it. Oh, this morning? Yeah. The fuck? Oh, hey. Oh, if it was this morning, it was if it was this morning, I never heard about it then because I don't I don't think I saw anything about him wanting to delay the election. He like mm -hmm. the media, the media has been saying that that he said that, but he never said that in the past. So right, he, he hasn't said, said that morning, in the past, but he did say it this morning. Okay, cuz they keep he keep they uh said that he they kept on saying that he was thinking that his whole this whole time or whatever mm -hmm. and he every single time it come term, turns out he never said it never said it. so mm -hmm. when you're telling me this i was thinking you're talking about that those kind of things but i don't know let's see trump well what, what do i look up trump uh trump one to the day. delays election i think if you just type that it'll probably switch up let me see if i can't pull it up on my googler real quick okay. let's see oh yeah there we go it always does that little indent thing. Okay, let's go to... Because it was first in a tweet, and then he got asked more about it in his press interview this morning. Donald Trump. Republicans to Trump. You can't do the lie. Trump suggests delay to U.S. election. Okay, so I guess he finally said it, I guess. Mm -hmm. he, he mostly said it in a tweet. He was like, we might have to... Uh, push it back but i wish i could find the tweet i think if i do donald trump delays election tweet i can find the actual sentence of what he said um no president is king and no president that was irritating okay sorry about that uh with universal mail-in voting not absentee voting which is good 2020 will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. It will be a great embarrassment to the USA. Delay the election until people can properly, securely, and safely vote. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry, but I didn't really catch that. No problem. I was reading something. Yeah, it's all good. I know how it is. I, I kind of do that same disassociated thing, too. Um, with universal mail-in voting, not absentee voting, which is good, 2020 will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. It will be a great embarrassment to the USA. Delay the election until we can properly, securely, and safely vote. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Ooh. This is what, so this was not a statement, this was a tweet. Yeah, this was a tweet, and then he got asked about it this morning in a prep briefing. And the very first question mm -hmm. was, are you thinking about rolling it back? And he said, um, well, I don't want to change the date of the election. But I just think that there's going to be so many fraudulent things. I'd hate for us to vote, wait three months, and then see that it was all fake and that none of the ballots are there. 
which is also just kind of nonsensical on I don't want to have to wait hella long for the election to be confirmed, so I'm going to delay the election. Which is, I mean, ultimately... Well, uh, actually, I would like to know what you think before I say what I think. Because <laughs> I feel like I've been doing a lot of talking. I, honestly, I'm pretty sure... Uh, yeah, what are you saying is about, like, the election? I'm pretty sure it just makes kind of common... It kind of makes sense. Because, I mean, like, they're doing, they're trying to do this whole letting everybody outside the United States vote thing. They're doing this whole, like, mailing voting. Well, are you talking about Americans sh- outside of America? Yeah, they actually, the Democrats are, like, are, are Well, they voted, they voted absentee every, every year. They voted in, like, the last three elections. That's not a new thing. Wait, what? Yeah, people have been wait, voting. Wait, like, wait. one of the biggest things for Bernie Sanders' rise in the primary was that for Americans mm-hmm. who don't live in America... He won like eighty to ninety percent clip of the percentage of the vote, and so that's that's absolutely a vote oh, wait, that we've wait, been wait, gathering wait. and looking at for decades. Wait, Americans that don't Americans that don't live in America. You talking about yeah, people who have American citizenship but are currently living outside the state still have the right to vote in American elections federally. That's not what I'm talking about. Like, there's liberals who actually want people who are not U.S. citizens. Really, which ones? Yeah, like uh, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi has asked for people who are not U.S. citizens to vote in U.S. elections. Yep, you can look it up. For I mean, sure. I, I mean that. Back to the Googler. Yeah. yeah, Nancy Pelosi literally suggested letting people who are not legal citizens to vote. Nancy. And like, Pelosi. so like, there's a lot of situations. We're really trying to be so lenient towards this year. One of them is saying Nonsense. all this corona stuff will blow away once the election is over. The blow left is again. just trying to use I mean I thought funny? all the I thought all the corona stuff was gonna blow away by like May or March or June or whatever he said back in February. I think he said May. Or yeah. maybe two months. Okay. Uh, the first thing I found is PolitiFact. No, House Democrats did not vote to allow speaker.gov. Pelosi remarks. This will probably be closer. This sounds like it's saying what Pelosi said. Okay, Pelosi remarks at press conference with the Congressman Dodgett on HR for one for the People Act. I guess that's the bill in question. Join my Thank you, Mark. Mar- Thank you so much, M A R Z A L Z A. Of people to restore the people's faith in government. Oh, this is like an actual transcript. This won't. This won't uh, have what I. Maybe it is. Because the only way people would get mad Democrat, at her for saying something is if they had record of her saying it, and this is her at a public speaking event. So. Democrats want illegals to vote, basically. Biggest... Yeah, actually, uh, this so this is basically my first live on t- uh, basically Instagram tomorrow morning. We should definitely be able to get a live. No, oh, yeah, no, dude, that'll be dope. My only problem is I hope I can wake up. What time are you thinking? Uh, what time good for you? Uh, can we like do 12. like can we is is ten too late? You want ten a.m.? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. For sure. Define I mean, look, I just looked it up. Um. Uh, it quite literally is. It's on the hill right here. On the hill. Maybe I'll type in hill after my search. There's NPR house dot well, Never mind. I don't think I don't think this is exactly it. If is there a uh, would there be a way? Okay, if you find it, could you drop a link to it in the Discord chat? Yeah, uh, yeah. If I find it, I'll just I'll just I'll, I'll try to tell you. Um, Foreign election interference. The FBI coronavirus what? bill pushes illegal immigration agenda. Maybe. Okay, wait, wait. Is this it? Even if the judge rules that have deported, unless you have committed another crime in addition to breaking social, Democrats want to allow them to become American citizens and vote, in, not in spite of, but because of their own decision to break our laws. Democrats want governments to give illegal aliens welfare, schools, health care, public services, all paid by taxpayers. Now they want to hand them 100, 112, uh, 1,000 pandemic. I said as a word of transgression, if Democrats hand out checks, uh, Xenophobia, broke the law, those are mainstream beliefs, Democrats including nominee leaders. I'm, st- I'm just trying to find where 
For sure. It's, it's same. Because this, yeah. this sounds, because like what I'm finding now is similar to what you're finding is that Nancy Pelosi and all that saying that we want to give more rights to people who live in this country, citizens or non-citizens. But it doesn't seem like she's saying that she wants foreign non-citizens to be allowed to vote in our election. That just kind of seems like something no one would ever ask for. I mean, it definitely seems like a fear tactic that one side would call out the other out for, but it doesn't seem to be an actual real policy that anyone asked for. No, no, like, I, I just can't remember the source properly. No problem. Well, we're also going to talk tomorrow, so there's going to be some time for you to look for it. Like I say, Thanks, absence yeah. of evidence is not evidence of absence. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I guess I can just try to pull it up or something. For sure. But it's a great... I scrolled yeah, around for a little bit. I couldn't find it. BND? I don't know if it's BND. I can definitely... Was it... Did I already know why? Why support illegal immigration? Mm-hmm. No, it's just... I don't like this. Yeah, no. And I think there actually is, like, we could write that down as something we could go through for tomorrow, because there actually is a whole bunch of moral nuance to the idea of whether or not you should give rights to someone who lives in your area just because they live there. Like, that's a really, it's a really interesting question that gets to, like, really, like, the base of what set, what gives you the right to input into my government, you know? Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's live, I probably would want to have more Directly Trump, more direct, like for sure. Yeah, I feel yeah, that because I'm pretty sure more people are gonna be awake for tomorrow's live. Yeah, a lot. So, so I, 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 and it, 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 this this could probably help uh, my Instagram like start getting more credibility for their lives. For sure. Because also use for all the credibility being on well. Now that I see that there's a yeah, yeah dude, I absolutely feel that. that. Um, uh, you glitched Probably out a little bit for the very last thing you said, but I do feel that like using it to grow and all that because i'm definitely looking for like i i gotta get my tiktok videos out like I, i'm on youtube i'm a whole turkey everywhere so i got like a whole bunch of shit i gotta work on so i feel you do you want to just put a pin in that here for tonight then i feel like we made like we've gone through a lot of stuff yeah, yeah we have yeah for uh, sure yeah I guess we can just end it tonight again all righty well yeah dude thank you for thank you for coming through emmanuel i really appreciate you thank stopping you by on my channel thank you for having me have a good day man you too. See you tomorrow. Peace out. Peace. All right. So, yeah, guys, that was our first ever Turkey channel hosted debate. I know everything looks ridiculous. I know my styles aren't around. My head box isn't in the right place. There's all these things happening on the side. Who's that dude with the. Oh, wait. Who's that dude with the dreads? There's a lot of questions going on here. But. The most important thing is I feel like we had a really good conversation with someone who I vehemently disagree with, and I, that is important. That's important. And we're going to come back and do it again tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully you'll get to see some of these clips before that goes up uh, then. Probably won't. Uh, <laughs> I hope to see you guys there. So, yeah, I don't know where you are or when you're watching this, but I would like to wish that you have a good morning. A great afternoon and a nice night. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for stopping in.